Hey everybody, it's Dina. Uh, did a little bit of retail therapy yesterday. Uh, my boyfriend left for Iraq, so I was completely devastated. And the only thing I could think of that made me feel even remotely better was to go shopping. So I uh, ran to a few places. I went to Ulta, went to the Icing, went to MAC, went to Sephora, Target. So I'm um, just going to share with you a few things that I got. Also uh, received a couple things in the mail that I will share with you that I had ordered last week. So we'll just go ahead and jump right into it. First things are from Ulta and I'll show you what I picked up. The first thing here is the icing bronzing disc. And this thing is absolutely amazing. And it is huge. It was $8.50. Here it is compared to the Too Faced um, bronzer palette or the um, Too Faced, it's the Chocolate Soleil. So you can see, I mean, it's still quite a bit larger. This was $8.50 again. Um, all their cosmetics were buy one get one half off. Here is a swatch right there. It is a bronzy gold shimmery. It is so pretty. This is all the colors combined. You can use these individual colors. Um, you know, if you wanted to use the lighter ones or the darker ones, you could take this and literally be your bronzer, your blush, your highlight, and eye colors. I mean, it. this thing is very universal, and I love it. The pigmentation's great. Uh, so then the next thing that I picked up from the icing is one of their blushes. It's got a rose design on it. It's a matte pink blush. These were $6.50. Again, they were buy one, get one half off, so this one was one I received half off. Here's a swatch of it right here. It's a blue-toned pink. Um, beautiful, beautiful color. I love it. Um, so, uh, this is the matte one here, and then next to it, as you can see, this orangey colored, um, blush here, it's like a peachy, um, golden color here is their other blush that I got, and it is so cool, look at that, look at that, it is beautiful, it's got like an iridescent, um, tone to it, it's got a beautiful imprinted design on it, again, these are 650 so I'm excited to try that. I also picked up two of their nail polishes here. This one is a fuchsia pink. It's kind of picking up a little bit more red on my camera, but this is a bright fuchsia color. So these were $4.50, buy one, get one half off. The second one is actually the color that I'm wearing on my nails now. I love this color. I'm obsessed with it. It is a purple, blue, and pink glitter. It's super finely milled glitter. As you can see, look at that. $4.50, so this one was $2.25, so I actually got a backup of this one because I thought it was just so super pretty. So I'm wearing this on my fingers and toes, so that's kind of making me feel a little better. I have a, um, anything that has glitter in it makes me feel better, so, um, then I went to, uh, Sephora, picked up this NARS Illuminator in Copacabana. They have, um, Copacabana, Laguna, and they also have, uh, Orgasm, so I picked this one up. It's a peachy, I'm sorry, not a peachy. It is a pearl essent, um, kind of champagne colored liquid. Uh, comes in a little snap top here. And um, you can use this to mix with your foundation or you can put it directly on your cheeks as a highlight. So I will try that and let you know how it works out for me. Also at Sephora, picked up the Amazing Cosmetics Concealer in Ivory. This is the lightest color. I love these for under eye usage. Um, just to have the lighter triangle shape underneath your eye. So I will try this color as I have another one already. Um, this is something that I picked up um, off of eBay. This is the Maybelline Dream Mousse Concealer. They no longer produce it. It has been discontinued. This is in the color Ivory. So pick this up. It was only six bucks on eBay, so not so bad yet. But I did see some that were a lot more pricier. So I guess some of the um, harder to find colors. But this one is the one I got. So I will continue to um, use this. Next is um, something I picked up at Ulta. This is the Prestige Eyeshadow Color in Love, number uh, 163, C163, Love. Um, I'm using this as a blush, actually. Uh, I don't know why this would be marketed as a shadow. Um, I guess, that I guess you know, you could use it as a shadow, but it's, I mean, it's just, a, it, it looks just like a blush that I have from MAC. Um, and these were like $3.99. So, I mean, it's kind of small. I mean, it's not tiny. It's about the same size as the Dream Mousse Concealer. Um, but this color's beautiful. Right here's the swatch of it. It's a blue-pink shimmery, um, blush. There, and there you can see the difference between it and the matte blush from the icing that I picked up. So, I love that. And I will continue to use that. Also, from, um, the internet... Uh, these were from eBay. I picked up the Shadow Shields, and these are just a um, half moon shaped um, 
uh, adhesive backed, mm, they're almost like a cotton pad, but they're a lot thinner. Uh, you put these underneath your eye, they stick to your eye and, and form like a bowl shape, as you can see, like if you fold, the, the corners kind of fold up, which makes it um, catch the fallout. So I got these, they were $9.95 for um, 30 of them. They're kind of pricey, so I'm not sure if I will repurchase them, but I am going to try them to see. I also picked up the Scandinavia Bridal Makeup Finish Pitcher Perfect All Day Spray. Um, this extends your makeup wear and control shine through heat, dancing, tears, all that. So I'm going to try that. I've been using the uh, Urban Decay All Nighter Spray, and I do like that, but I have heard a lot of reviews on the Scandinavia, so I wanted to try that. Uh, this is a four ounce bottle. It was $29, so it is very pricey. Um, but I am going to try it, and I may love it, and I may hate it. So I will definitely let you know. Um, also from Ulta, I picked up the uh, True Techniques Blush Brush. Uh, this one's just like an egg-shaped blush brush. I love it. Great for blush uh, highlighting. As you can see, I have quite a few um, brushes. Those are my eye brushes on the end. Um, and then it moves over to my blush and face and highlighting and things like that. So I do have a lot of blushes, or brushes, sorry, I've been collecting for a while. Um, so... I will continue to do so. Uh, these are a couple of e.l.f. lip glosses that I picked up from Target. I threw the packaging away, so I'm not sure about the names of them, but they are very pretty colors. Uh, they are pretty moisturizing, so I like those. These are a repurchase of my e.l.f. Um, waterproof eyeliner pens. These are a felt tip eyeliner. Love them. These are in black. They're great for your upper lash line. Um, I love these. They're a dollar. You cannot go wrong with these guys. They're very highly pigmented, so I recommend these highly. Um, next thing is the um, e.l.f. translucent mattifying powder. This is just a, you know, universal color that pretty much anyone can use. It just absorbs oil. It's got a large mirror with it, so it's great to carry in your purse. So that was $3 from Target. Also picked up one of their eyeshadow quads. This is in Day to Night. I've never used any of the quads before. I do have the Book of Shadows. I've got the Beauty Encyclopedia and then the Beauty Book Bright Eyes Edition. So um, I want to try these. These have great colors. This is like you could do a whole look with this, definitely. It's got a maroon color, a dark brown, uh, and then it's got a highlight color and a taupey brown. So we'll try those. It was only a dollar. And so then, uh, last but not least, I went to MAC, and I picked up my Forever Faithful Studio Fix Powder in NC25. I've been using this for going on 12 years now. Uh, it is my absolute favorite. I will purchase this until I die. <laughs> um, I've never found anything that compares to this. I've tried every kind I can think of, so this is definitely my favorite. Uh, I also picked up a Lip Gelee. Uh, this one is... Um, now in season is the color and let me tell you this is absolutely amazing look at the glitter and sparkle in this it's a gold it has gold um looks like silver sparkles in it yellow maybe oh it's gorgeous guys gorgeous gorgeous and then i'm kind of behind the bandwagon on this but i did actually <laughs> was able to pick one up this is the mac lip gloss in uh lady gaga and this is just a bubblegum pink um lip lip glass I believe it is yeah it's the lip glass so um pick this up as they still had a few of them left at my store so um that's all I got and I'm just glad that I was able to share them with you so uh, thanks for watching and come back and see me next time bye guys